identify and classify information and assets. Identifying and classifying information assets first step in establishing a information security. Without identifying and classifying information assets, we will not be able to know where assets are. Without identifying and classifying information assets, we will not be able to know which assets are more valuable. Without identifying and classifying information assets, information security plan will be inefficient, costly. International law, regulation and standards about asset and information classification. Canada, the Security of Information Act is an act of the Parliament of Canada that addresses national security. China, guarding state secrets. United Kingdom, the Official Secrets Acts 1911 to 1989 provide the main legal protection in the UK against espionage and the unauthorized disclosure of information. United States, NIST Federal Information Processing Standard 199, Standards for Security Categorization of Federal Information and Information Systems. United States, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, Special Publication, SP 800 to 60 has been developed to assist federal government agencies to categorize information and information systems. United States Committee on National Security Systems (CNSS) Instruction Number 1253, Security Categorization and Control Selection for National Security Systems. European Union (EU) General Data Protection Regulation (GDPR). Asset classification. Asset classification begins with inventory of assets and determining the responsible persons, or owners. Asset are computing devices, IT systems, software virtual computing, and hardware. Paper-based records are also assets. Records or documentation can be classified based on sensitivity and value. Classifying the assets means categorizing and grouping assets by the level of sensitivity. Levels of classification dictate a minimum set of security controls. Data policy is the primary mechanism. Establishes classification levels. Benefits of classification. Make an accurate asset inventory. Gain insight into the environment. Optimize change vulnerability, and patch. Management programs. Determine the best. Maintenance windows. Improve security. Controls and segmentation. Tailor protection of sensitive data. Identify rogue assets. Understand potential. Risks posed by vulnerabilities. Identify proprietary. Assets and intellectual property. Forecast costs of protection. Compliance. Regulatory controls. Qualitative versus quantitative asset value analysis. Quantitative methodology are measurement and numerical value. Value is presented in currency, percentages, and numbers. Advantages of quantitative analysis. Objective and uses real numbers for comparison. Credible meaningful and easily understood. Aligned with financial considerations and cost-benefit analysis. Disadvantages of quantitative analysis. Complex and intensive to calculate. May provide a false sense of accuracy. Measures and formulas can be miscalculated. Qualitative methodology. Are based on subjective judgment. Qualitative assessments are in terms like high, medium, and low. Advantages of qualitative analysis. Simple to measure and explain. Identify the problem. Disadvantages of qualitative analysis. Dependent on the experience and judgment. Assets can be over or under assessed. Recommendations are subjective. Hard to track progress. Asset classification levels. Assets should be identified and controlled based on sensitivity. 
Examples of asset classifications are Tier 0, Tier 1, Tier 2, and Significant. Systems Tier 0 Asset Classifications Tier 0 Asset Classifications are essential to business units. Tier 0 Asset Classifications handle extremely sensitive data. Tier 0 Asset Classifications compromise could have a critical impact on the business. Tier 0 Asset Classifications required to be available 100%. Tier 0 Asset Classifications Examples Domain Controllers Databases Email Servers File Shares Client Web Servers Gateway Network Devices, Firewalls Routers, and Network Critical Infrastructure Shuts Down Business for a day if it breaks or turns off. Tier 1 Asset Classifications Tier 1 Asset Classifications Important but not necessarily critical. Tier 1 Asset Classifications are essential to specific departments but not to the entire business. Tier 1 Asset Classifications Compromise would have a moderate impact on the business. Tier 1 Asset Classifications Examples Development environments with critical data. Redundant backup systems with critical data. Department file shares. Local network devices, switches, routers, firewalls, and segmentation devices. Tier 2 asset classifications. Tier 2 asset classifications are neither essential nor critical. Tier 2 asset classifications are used by few people or single individual. Tier 2 asset classifications inconvenience few people, but would not be a major disruption to business. Tier 2 asset classifications examples. Workstations. Laptops. Mobile phones and tablets. Printers. Desk phones. Significant. Systems asset classifications. Significant. Systems asset classifications handle data. Subject to compliance standards. Significant. Systems asset classifications fall into more than one category or stand alone. Significant. Systems asset classifications examples. Card holder data, CHD, system that stores, processes, or transmits CHD must. Align to PCI DSS. Protected health information, FI. Medical data must be protected per the standards outlined in the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. HIPAA. Financial data fall under certain privacy requirements outlined in the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. FINRA. Classified government data for U.S. military and government.